Cancer. This is y'all weekly message. Y'all could be traveling somewhere. Could be going on a trip. You could be going to see someone or somebody's coming towards you. See what your love message is, Cancer. Let's see what it says. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So whatever question you have, you already know the answer. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Eight forty four on the clock. Four is gonna be significant. You might be working on instability this week. You might be getting some type of stability this week. Forming a strong foundation. You might be getting a strong foundation or actually get into a relationship. Because it does say let there be closeness between you. But always give each other space. So maybe y'all been at a distance. But there's about to be an ending or closure to this distance. This person wants a higher level commitment with you. Somebody has had a spiritual awakening. Somebody has gained the knowledge. It's been an Aries Leo Sagittarius that realizes somebody has been being sneaky. Gotta watch your back. You got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They need to watch your back. Somebody trying to sneak up behind you. Come towards you. Unknowing. Possibly with an apology. So somebody wants to come towards you with an apology and give you the good old magic stick. Because they want to come with an apology because they want this new passionate beginning with you. They might be slick coming towards you or they might be sneaky coming towards you. This is someone that has an amount of love for you or a lot of uh, love for you and they're ready to express this love. They're passionate about you. They're fiery about you. It could be a fire sign. This person has been burdened about this connection, about this relationship. Somebody has been carrying too much burden, too much weight. Someone is feeling overwhelmed. About a house situation, about a home situation. There's about to be some type of change. Could be seeing a lot of fives. As a decision has been made. There's, you see a lot of tens. Ten, ten, ten. Judgment. Anyway, little baby. So, like, anyways, on to the next. You have, you have a decision that's been made that has been burdening you about a home situation, and now there's about to be some type of relief that you don't see coming. You got your angels watching over you. You got a provider that's trying to sneak up on you, come towards you. Somebody's obsessing about this and coming towards you. Somebody is a magician. Somebody could be a Gemini. I got Gemini in the chart. Somebody's a magician. Somebody has all the powers within them. Somebody reads a lot of books. Somebody is obsessing. 
over being with you. Somebody's trying to manifest you. Somebody third eye chakra is open. Somebody might be doing love potions, love magic, song spells, as well as this person may be wiser. They could be older, could have um, grayish and white hair. Somebody could be a devil in disguise. Somebody could be um, gaining some type of wisdom. Somebody is holding on to you tightly. They could be a lover that's obsessing about being with you. Somebody is ready to be to enlighten you. They want to come in and give you some type of good news. But there's a decision made that you got good news coming towards you. Could be seeing um, either a wolf or uh, a deer. But you got the world. Good karma coming towards you. Victory coming. Success coming. Everything that you wanted coming towards you. Somebody has to make a decision. Or there is a decision being made. And you got some type of truth and clarity coming towards you unexpectedly. Something that's going to rock your foundation. Something that's going to shake you. Something unexpected that you don't see. It might even rain that day. Somebody wants to come in and heal this connection. This person has been holding on to you tightly. Unbeknownst to you. And they want to pour into this connection. Because you are their empress. And they want to grow and harvest with you. They want to, they know that they can be happy with you. They see that y'all can grow together. They possibly see you as being, having a child for them. Somebody could be seeing red birds, blue birds, hummingbirds. Horses. Geese. Ducks. You got justice coming with a love situation. I don't want to cry. Aries energy. You got an Aries that's in their feelings. This person wants to bounce off the scale because they love you. And they're being courageous to come towards you. We got, I don't want to cry. So this person may have cried over you. But they are obsessing over this. They do want a commitment with you. They coming towards you and you don't see this coming. But they want to work on this. They want to invest in this. They want to come in and give you this good news. This is your good karma. Someone has made a difficult decision. After some shit has hit the fan. But they want to heal this. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their happily ever after. They see you as being abundant. You're stable, you're loyal, dependable. This is someone that knows that you get it off the mud by yourself. Somebody might find a white, um, a white feather, but they have the scales that's about to be balanced. Somebody may have a situation changing by autumn or the fall. Somebody was ready to give you their heart and soul, though. Baby, I uh, told you they want to be with you, baby. This is my marriage song right now for you. That's an Aries look. Fall for you. It's all about you, baby. Contagious. Eyes the bros. Because your love is contagious, baby. Taurus, Taurus, Aries, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, 7 and 2, which is 9, wish fulfillment. So, this person sees you as wish fulfillment, like I said, they fell in love with you, and now they realize that they want to marry you. You are going to be the empress, and they could heal this connection with this little magic stick, y'all could make a baby. And you might get pregnant, or be pregnant around autumn.
Somebody might have some type of trip plan around some water. Or they going towards some water. But this is y'all weekly message. I love y'all. All the information y'all need is below. If y'all want a book, y'all know what it is. Thank y'all for the love and support. Y'all be easy.